Oh like. my goodness. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever seen beaver. Yeah. It is, it really is. There's potential for a TikTok sound in that. So would you put yourself on the, on the same level as Fabregas? I think I'm much quicker though. Uh, where's the most expensive stuff? My girl doesn't even buy me stuff like this, bro. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Kit Collector. Today we're joined by FIFA royalty, Castro. How are you doing? Thank you so much for having me. I am doing great. I envision this is what heaven looks like, right? Beautiful kits everywhere. I'm very excited to be here. Hey, you are, you're gonna find any kit you want in here. We've even got some jackets and coats we'll get to eventually as well. Okay. Welcome to England. I think we're gonna need more people so I can like take all these home because I'm expecting 20 kits minimum. Yeah, and I, I can buy you one. One? After that, then I, I need to pay my rent next month, so. Okay, we'll take one then. Should we have a look around? Let's do it, man. Come on. Welcome to the British cold, and straight away, you're a Manchester oof, United fan. Oof. You see, I didn't bring a jacket to uh, to England, so this one, can I put it on? You can put it on. You I'll sure? take the hanger for you. Let me know. Let me know what it looks like, all right, please. Nah, this is my style. I actually, you what are, you actually think? does what do you suit really suit What do you yeah. think, bro? <laughs> it look good? How about the what? I think you look a bit like Alex Ferguson. Really? Yeah. Ooh, Fergie. That's my guy. Hey, this one's nice. What is this, Italy? Now nah, look on the back, you ready? Ooh. We're bland. What? <laughs> I say Italy because look, look, they were missing the eagle here. But look at the eagle right there. And right. <laughs> All right, what's next? It can't be overstated just how massive football is to Mexican people, right? Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, the fans at the World Cup were incredible. This is my second World Cup, third World Cup, the second World Cup um, where I got to see Mexico play. And every time they show up, they show up by thousands and thousands. And I think Mexico, Argentina fans, and I believe the Moroccan fans yeah. were the top three fans at the World Cup. But I mean, it's just, it's the culture, right? It's life, it's yeah. life. Kind of like, get the badge in. Welcome to the UK. Thank you so you, much. No one's in a mess of you now. Do you feel like a proper football casual? As soon as I put this on, I felt safe. I yeah. felt bulletproof. I'm badgeless. Badge You're badgeless, I'm badge but you have the next best thing. I think it's because people see me and they're like, they're not going to mess with someone who looks like this. Exactly. Oh. That Mexico kit. <sighs> Oof. I'd be scared. I'd be scared to, to mess with you for sure. <laughs> this is where we come into. Oh like... my goodness. <sighs> <sighs> Can I sleep here? That's probably my favorite thing that you guys have here. The wall? The wall. I need that in my room, in my house. Who are you picking out on that wall as like one of your favorite players? Oh, here we go. I mean, do you realize that you have Diego Armando Maradona up there? Yeah. You've got R9, you've got Zizou, you've got one of the goats, Ronaldo. But you know what? I think I'm going to take Ronaldinho. Who are you taking? Ah, uh, Messi. He's, Wait, he's, where, at very, he's at the very bottom. Oh, uh, wow. Well, Everyone on his back. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a little quiz for you. Okay. Right, don't don't cheat, don't cheat. This kit right here represents the stadium that I've scored twice in. Oh, Southampton? Nope. Charlton? Got it. Yeah, there we go, yeah. Charlton. We need to touch on that quickly. What has it been like for you playing in some massive stadiums or in massive crowds I as mean, a creator? I, I always say it's a blessing, right? Because it, it's the closest that I will ever get to being a professional footballer, right? Yeah. Which is what I wanted to be when I was growing up alongside everyone else, right? Everyone just wants to be a pro footballer, but it felt great, man. I, I just couldn't stop thinking like, man, all the hard work that we've ever put in as footballers, as kids, it, it's led me to this. Yeah. It's just like, it's beautiful, man, because I don't know, just seeing a sold out arena and it's for a great cause, right? The Sidemen do great things with raising a lot of money for charity. It's it's beautiful. So it's, it's definitely top memories and, and highlights of my life, without a doubt. What is it like getting that call to let you know you're playing in a game like that? I wouldn't know, so. Man, I froze up when, when Simon Miniminter sent me a message on Instagram. I was just like, there's no way that I'm gonna be playing in the Sidemen charity match. And I said yes right away without even asking anyone like if I could or if I had that booked or something, right? But I would cancel everything and anything to play in a Sidemen charity match. I love this one right here, but like South End United, a club we're actually on the brink of extinction right now. Okay, they're on the brink of extinction. So let's, let's, let's bid on them. What do you think? <laughs> I've, I've not got it in my locker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's save them. This club's this shirt made by Beaver. 
Beaver. That is the first time I've ever seen beaver. Yeah. It is. It really is. There's potential for a TikTok sound in that. Listen, bro, this is like my loud. Kind of kit. You know nice. what I'm saying? Loud, bro. This yells relegation. <laughs> Does it not? All right, goalkeeper kit, David De Gea. I love you. The thing is, someone's going to buy that now, and you've kissed that. And if they're a massive. Yeah, me. Fan, I'm going to buy it. You're going to buy it? Yeah. How many shirts are you planning to leave it with? How many can you carry? <laughs> True. I don't know. I'm very feeble. <laughs> Coming to the legend section. Underneath a legend right now. <sighs> Rude Vanisteroy. What a striker. Something Chelsea need right now is a striker. <laughs> yeah. You wish you had Vanisteroy. 600 million pounds and you don't sign a striker is very interesting. Exactly. Thank you very much. There are some legend shots here from a team that play in red. I mean, listen, man. This, this do, do you know? Do you know what this kit represents? When you look at this kit, who do you think of? Darren Fletcher. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Chicharito. Javier Chicharito Hernandez wore this kit on his debut and he scored. Just quickly, Mexican Manchester United fan. Yeah. What does Hernandez mean to you? Everything, man. Yeah. Everything. I mean, when he, when uh, Ferguson picked him up from, from Chivas, I was the happiest person in the world. Right. I never got to see him play, unfortunately, right? Because the funds were a bit short and I couldn't make it out. Um, but I watched every single game and I remember that this was the kit that he debuted in. Beautiful, man. This is the kit. I'm just going to kiss every United kid. Is that all right? Yeah. Are, are you guys going to yell at me for that? Okay. <laughs> I'll sanitize him if you want me to. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. You've seen us on the back. This is. Look at this. King Eric. All right, King Eric. Oh, one of my favorite kids, man. No. <laughs> Guess the name on the back. That's that's O2, right? That's got to be 2002. I mean, listen, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Beckham. Oh! Big Kino, man. Kino, dude. I mean, we, you, they don't make him like him no more. <laughs> they definitely Think don't. Of, hey, this right here, long sleeve, is the first United kid I've ever owned. I was like seven or eight years old. My mom came home with this, and I was the happiest kid in the world. So what, what was the link? Why did you become a Manchester United fan? Was it that reason? It was the first shot you got bought? Or? So so football is huge in my family, right? Yeah. My, my dad, we used to always watch Chivas you know, play, Mexican club, and I would always watch the more competitive football, which was the Premier League. So I yeah. would switch on a Saturday morning and Manchester United were playing and I just kind of fell in love, man. So nice. it was around the uh, the 99, 2000 era. So the treble. Yeah. 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 Wow, 99. Yeah. So Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you remember that, right? So I do. Yeah, you weren't even born yet. Got a whole section of legends here. Yeah. I'd like you to put together a five-a-side team Ooh. of legends for me. Well, I'm going to start off with my goalkeeper right here. I mean, come on. Big GG Buffon. Nice. How's that? Next up, center yeah. back. Have to go with Rio. Have to go with Rio Ferdinand. I need three more players. Three more players. This is so, do you know how hard this is? <laughs> no, no, do you know how many legends you have here? This is this is so hard, man. We're in the wrong section here. I need I need a center mid. Ooh. Iniesta, Xavi. Ooh. You know what? No, I liked I liked this player a lot. Okay. I liked his style. It was very similar to mine. Not the quickest player, but I, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to waste my center mid on him. Who, Should I just who, do it? Who is the player? Cesc. Cesc Fabregas. Baller, right? I mean, come on. Yeah, he still plays in Serie B. He still plays? He still plays for a team called Como. How old is he? Oh, don't answer that, because then I'm going to feel real old myself. 35, I think. Ooh. Baller, though, right? What Cesc, a player. Arsenal fans, you guys can vouch. I'm not going to use him, though. You have just sort of compared yourself to him. You said he plays like me. So would you put yourself on the, on the same level as Fabregas? I think I'm much quicker though. Yeah, I'll you want to see me, want to see. And if the camera didn't pick it up because he was that quick, he has just exactly. run up and down that. Now I'm tired. <laughs> Ooh, Fulham. Yeah. Here we go. This is a good shot right here. Are you ready for this one? My man, Clint Dempsey. Yes, what a Thoughts? player. What a player. Yeah, Unbelievable, right? yeah. Clint Dempsey, Captain America, USA. Listen, hear me out, all right? This is a hot take. Let me know. The United States in 2026 will make it to the semifinal of the World Cup. You know what? I actually agree. Great young squad. You've got Adams, McKenney, Reyna, Aronson, um, Pulisic. Thank you. Pepe. Thank you. Tillman. Pepe. Pepe. Jesus Ferreira is another one, too. Yep. Yeah. And the others. We're probably going to get grouped again. 
<laughs> go on then, pick your three most shots. So I am gonna go with, only because he's an absolute unit on FIFA, and I've used him before, and he's got some of the best interceptions in the game, I am gonna go with Essien. Do you remember his goal against Arsenal? I do. That Long is, shot, long yeah. shot, yes. I do remember that. That's a great shot, what a, right? what a player he was. So, so far, we've got Buffon, we've got Rio, We've got Essien. The next two are quite simple, to be completely honest. Go on. All right, as my cam, we're gonna go with, I mean, none other than Lionel La Pulga Messi, who just won the World Cup. Yeah, you are, am I right in thinking you're on the Ronaldo side of the debate? Listen, listen, listen. I think any sensible human being knows what Messi has done is, is will never be done again. Yeah. Right? But I have them level. I'm always going to say both. That's the correct answer. Any other answer is fair enough. Triggering to me. It's your truth. Yeah. It's yeah, your truth. Yeah. Buffon, Rio, Essien, Messi. And then, I mean, I, listen, I couldn't find a CR7. The thing is with CR7 shots, when they, they come, they go like that. Really? He just, he's got such Oh, a, CR7 gets on the shelves and then boom, he's out. So we're saying if CR7 was there, he'd be in the team. Yeah. And so would Zidane. But because he's not here, who's finishing your squad? Well, honestly, I think I. I pff, pff, if we can't go with that Ronaldo, why not go with the yes. other Ronaldo, the OG Ronaldo, R9 El Fenomeno Ronaldo. Um, I mean, look at how sexy this is. I want to say this is 2002. I yes. could be wrong. Or 98, even not. I think or 98. 98. Yeah, they're very similar. Very similar. They're very similar. So R9 Ronaldo, one of the best FIFA icons. Yeah, right? one of the best strikers of all time in in IRL. So. I mean, this is one beautiful kit, isn't it? He has always been the best icon in the game, right? Yeah, performance-wise, absolutely. Not necessarily the highest rated because we've had Diego Armando Maradona, we've had Pelé, yeah. right? But he's definitely the icon that everyone dreams of packing on FIFA because he's so good. Yeah. Right. What do you think about my top five? I think it's a great five-a-side team. I think you, you'd beat most teams in the world with that. You think so? I think so. Speaking about beautiful kits. Yeah. I have to get you a kit. Yeah. There's a whole shop here. Woo! Whichever you think the best item is. Yeah. Or I, even if it's a coat or a jacket, I want you to go and find the best item that you want me to get for you. Are you sure? I think it, I'm sure. He's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's, uh, where's the most expensive stuff? Probably in this legend section, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so, ex I'm so excited. He's going to buy me something. He's get My girl doesn't even buy me stuff like this, bro. Let's go. I want you to try to guess what it is that I want in here. Oh, I think it's this, right? Ooh, that is exactly right. That is exactly right. Look at this. Look at, can I put it on now? You can put it on. You sure? Go for it. Nah, listen, listen. This is how we started. Yeah. And this is how we are ending. Oh my God. This is probably one of the best clothing items that I own and it's because you're buying it for me. And also, you actually pull it off. If I put some out of that on, you think so? No, you think I'd pull it off. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to the United game in a, in a few days and I'm going to wear this there. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold you so I want to see a photo on Instagram. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to tag you. I'm yeah, please do. You. Yeah, yeah. Please repost it too so we can like share clout, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I've got no clout to share. What Same. a purchase that is. I'll let you just do a little pose in front of the camera. You, you like, you style it. So, thank you very much for coming on Kit Collector. Have you enjoyed yourself? Hey, thank you so much for having me, man. This was an absolute blast. I, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. I love you, man. Thank you. The the coat is is maybe the best pickup anyone's ever had hey, on this so series. So I appreciate the gift, bro. I really do. And I'm so happy you're wearing the Mexico kit. So, yeah, my guy. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Kit Collector. To make sure you don't miss any in future, make sure to subscribe to the Goal YouTube channel. Comment what you thought of Castro's pickup as well. And we'll see you very soon in the next episode. Thank you, guys. Bye. She's gonna hate me. I'm about, to, <laughs> I'm about to spend so much money. Oh Lord. Oh Lord.